Hey y'all, how's it going? Thank y'all for joining me. I greatly do appreciate y'all. Okay, so let's get into y'all's reading today. We're gonna see what is going on. Okay, what y'all need to be aware of at this time. Please only take it resonates and leave the rest, okay? All right, for those who are new here, thank y'all for being here. Hope that y'all do stay, join the family. I also have a Twitter account where I do post on there every day, okay? I also do collectives, which are written out. Okay, that's also where you can book a reading with me if you would like to, okay? So I hope that y'all come and join either way, either way. Okay, welcome to, to my platform, okay? Um, we get along over here. We're lit over here. We have fun. We are a family at the end of the day, okay? Alrighty. So let's get into y'all's reading today. I don't know what's coming out. I didn't really, I'm not going to ask Spirit for it. Really anything. I'm just going to, what you need to be aware of at the time, okay, collective? So Spirit, please protect me as I do channel these messages for my family. It's high is good. Okay, those who are coming to the channel being weird, rude, just doing too much, please return all that negative energy right back to them, okay? Thank you for everything. Thank you for these messages to come. All right, in Jesus' name, I do pray and I will say amen. All right, guys, let's see what we got today. What does the collective need to know at this time? What do they need to know? Let's do one more good shuffle. I hope that y'all are having a beautiful weekend, okay? Spending time with those who make you happy. All right. So let's see. What are we talking about today, Spirit? What does the collective need to know? Oh. So somebody here could have lied to you about them dating somebody new. So the lies could have caught up to them. And for some of you, you kind of set boundaries. Could be a masculine who was who a divine masculine or someone who is a masculine energy who could have lied about somebody and now you're setting boundaries with this individual. And now yeah, now this person's scared to approach you, but this person was very immature. Okay. So what are we talking about today? What does the collective need to know right now? Yeah, look. So the song is playing is by R. Kelly and he, and he says, I don't mean it. I might say we're through, but I don't mean it. Okay, somebody here was a liar and their lies caught up to them. Whoever this is, like I said, they're, this is a divine masculine. It, it don't have to be, but this is the energy that I'm picking up with these cards. Somebody, your person is hurting. Okay, somebody is hurting because they lied about another situation being in something. And those lies catch up, to, caught up to them. Okay, for some of you, this person could be avoiding you, but just know that they are hurting. For some of you, they're not ready to face you right now. So some of you, if you're wondering, well, they haven't hit me up. They're not acting like they are hurting. Well, that's because they're avoiding the situation. They are not ready to confront you. They don't want. They already know that maybe you got. You're going to tell them off or something like that. Your rejection could be touched. But some of you, you will be receiving a message from this person. Yeah. They're going to give you some come here with some type of offer. They're going to be want, either wanting to see you, um, want to take you out on a date. They're going to want to just see if y'all can start over. But somebody here is about to call you up and they're about to be in their feelings. Okay. Somebody here is be, getting really tempted to come towards you. But they had somebody else. Okay. Tell me more. What else does the collective need to know? So somebody is hurting with the lies. There's some lies that come to them. Okay. For some of you, yeah, your person is like, like I said, they're trying to avoid this connection. They're trying to focus on money. But just know you are on their mind, okay? You're on this person's mind. See, there you go telling me no again, but I keep sweat. So some of you, that's what they're, that's why they're staying so busy and trying to focus on their money and avoiding, and avoiding talking to you. They're not ready right now. They want to just take it slow to see where things kind of go. Because they're, they could be possibly afraid you're going to tell them no, Okay. Anything else the collective needs to know at this time, Spirit? Yeah, so some of you, you're in for a surprise. And the surprise is going to be an apology from this person. Y'all are not going to see this coming. Some of you are not going to see this, part, see this coming at all. They're going to come in here and apologize to you for something that they did, for being complicated, for being in and out, for lying, okay? But this person is hurting, okay? Y'all are going to be getting an, an apology from this person here soon. They got something to get off their chest. All right, so let's see what's currently going on. What else? So somebody's like, there there you go, telling me no again, collective, or, you know, but they, this person lied. They're li I feel like they're lies. They, they're, they're a liar, okay? You know, they could have said they weren't doing something. For some of you, you could have called them out. For others of you, you probably didn't even say nothing. Hold on, y'all. These cards have been fell before. 
but somebody here got something here to say because for these to come out the ace of swords somebody here wanting to talk to you yeah they're coming here with a proposal just basically everything that i said yeah because they and they're hoping to have some type of success when they do reach out to you this is my here who who may want to live with you or move in with you okay they want to offer you something they're like look i'm in a better position now i want to come here they could be manifesting this so for these cards to come out like this that's just let me know this person wants to propose something here to you they're hoping to have some type of victory. They're trying to find the self-confidence. But just right now, this current energy, I don't feel like they're ready. Okay? They're hurting. They know they told lies. They're they're probably in a dark energy right now. But they know they owe you an apology. But whoever this is, just focus right now on their money. Now, what I do see coming is they're going to be coming here very confident when they do come and talk to you about this offer. And I feel like the offer is going to be them, them wanting to be with you okay i'm gonna put them back because they fell on the floor or whatever but yeah whoever this is has been manifesting this with you ever since you have walked away okay so if it comes back out then, then there's that's the messages but i do strongly feel like that's that's what it is they're hoping to come in here with a solid offer and it's gonna catch you off guard i'm telling you when they reach out to you you be like what I don't believe it. Yeah, some of you are working on yourselves. You're in your, your empress energy, so you aren't paying this person no attention. Okay, you're just doing you. Yeah, and this person wanting to have a new beginning in love with you. They're hoping to be able to start over over with you. All right, Spirit, what do you have for the collector? What do they need to be aware of when it comes to, to this person who lied and now they're in this energy where they're hurting, trying to focus on money, about to get ready to come in here and surprise the collective with an apology what is going on with this individual tell me what's what's up yeah so right now your person could be going through a sudden change some type of um chaos is going on right now they can feel like things are a disaster i'm here and i ruined everything so some of you they they know the reason why that that they're the reason why y'all are not together anymore or not in communication because i don't feel like y'all talking to this person okay there's an awakening that's going Okay, there isn't a, a huge awakening that your person is having right now. Okay, what's going on with the collective's person spirit? Yeah, there's somebody here who wants to have some type of movement. They're manifest trying to come towards you. They're trying to make some type of decision. Okay, tell me more. What's going on with the collective's person right now? Yeah, some of you that are trying to move on from you, but I, I feel like when they're alone about themselves, they think about you a lot. You know, they, they feel like, damn, the collector's really strong. They got things going for themselves. They're not paying me no mind. Okay. Some of you, they're definitely taking a break from you. Tell me about the collector's person spirit. Yeah, look, the empress. I'm telling y'all, this person has come here fighting for y'all. Okay, you are definitely the empress. Some of you, they're not talking to you, talking to you because they're dealing with this queen of wands energy. There could definitely be someone else. Like we said, it was someone new. But they could have dealt with that person. But this person and this empress and they have to come here and fight for y'all. So you could, yeah, because they want a second chance. They know. Like I'm telling y'all, they're not, they're not stupid. This person said they know that you're the one for them. Two of cups. They come and come here. But they could just be taking their time and getting themselves together to be able to come here and offer you something real this time. It ain't just them come back just talking about what they want with you. They're really coming here to tell you. Now, why is this tower moment here? What's this tower moment that the cut person is going through? Come out this tower. So I feel like whatever is happening in your person's life, they're trying to free themselves from that situation and be able to come in here towards you. Okay? They're on their way to you. We got lose control. Yeah, so somebody here is losing control for some of you. Yeah, because they're ready to talk to you now. Somebody here is ready to collaborate, you know, get things off their chest. They want a new beginning here with you because they see you as their soulmate. They're ready to come into alignment here with you because they feel like left out in the cold right now you know maybe they've lost a lot of money maybe a, a disaster didn't happen and this person about to come here messaging y'all but they do feel like there's some type of disconnection and they're ready to be fair they're coming here with the truth they're ready to be honest somebody here could be ready to come here and move in with you or vice versa but they're ready they're ready to come here with the truth after juggling you for some time and they realize i shouldn't have done that because whatever they're in right now they're not happy about it it's a whole burden Okay, so they're ready to rush in here towards you after some type of like transformation or them going through some type of chaotic moment. Okay, let me move this one out. So what is this um, Eight of Wands energy? Clarify Eight of Wands for the collector's person. But they're coming in here sooner than you think, I'm telling you. 
Yeah, somebody here is planning on how to come towards you. They're, they're trying to find an opportunity to come in here and when is the right time. But like, like I said, they're waiting. Eight of Wands. Yeah. See, this person don't want to move on from you. They feel like y'all two got unfinished business. That's why they're ready to come in here towards you. This person hasn't moved on from you. I'm telling y'all, they see you as their lover, as somebody they got a lot of passion for. They're ready to come into union. Why hasn't this person moved on from the collective with the Six of Swords in the verse? There's unfinished business between you and this person. I'm telling y'all, some of you, they feel like tempted to come towards you or they could be a little bit obsessed with you, toxic over you. Why hasn't this person moved on from my collective with the Six of Swords in reverse? Because for some of you, they're disappointed in themselves. Page of Cups in reverse. Some of you, they're, they're disappointed. They were childish. They're immature. Okay. Which caused you which caused you to walk away. But that will, something here is changing. The inedible, inedible, inevitable is happening. And this person has been through some ups and downs. And now they're like, look, I really want to work towards this with the collective. I'm ready to cut off things that don't matter to me anymore. Once the collective cut me off, this was a painful ending. Some of them, they didn't expect to be hit as hard with feeling like they took, had a loss of you. You know, like they're mourning over you, they're sad over you. This person does not want to come in here being childish. But this person could have had destructive behavior. They could have been wild. Okay, tell me about this four of swords energy. Four of swords for the collective person. Yeah, so they're thinking about when this person is by themselves or when they can, can think and when they're in their head, this person is definitely thinking about, you know, the conflict and putting you in competition and being sneaky. This person is really trying to win at all costs. They didn't care if they hurt you, their mama, their daddy, their sister, but they didn't care. All they thought about was themselves. Okay. And that's, they were very selfish. This person was. And now this person's like, damn, I did all that. And, 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 uh, now I, I can't have my person. There's a disconnection to us. Yeah, because they thought the grass was greener on the other side. They thought where they were going, it was going to be better. And it wasn't. Some of you that thought, well, let me, if I get away from the collective, my life would be better. Or you know, maybe y'all were having issues or whatever the case may be. You know, tell me about this uh, Five of Swords energy. Yeah. For some of you, a person had a lot going on, so they couldn't made, they, they made an irrational decision. They didn't think this through wherever they went. They just was ready to take action. Something here looked good. They thought, oh, I'm going to have this new beginning. I can, I can be with this third party. It'll all work out. The communication is good for some of you. You know, they're a player. The sex was good. But it and they started something here new with whoever this was. But that shit is coming to an end. Because I'm telling you, a person is going through a transformation, some type of change. And they are disappointed in themselves for being a player or being promiscuous or going to somebody for whatever reason. They they really regret not sitting down and thinking things clear. Okay? They, they really, really do. Clarify the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. So we got Queen of Cups as well. So maybe this person is coming here with a lot of love for your person. For some of you, it could be more than one person your person is dealing with. Yeah, but the full in reverse. Your person was holding back from whoever this is that they're dealing with. They were holding back. Right now, they could be currently holding back because, because they're watching you. Your person can't focus on who they with because they're too busy, too busy watching you or trying to think of ways how to communicate here with you. For some of you, they realize that they're, they're, they're ready to, to, they're making bad choices. Now, what is this, the full card with the Queen of Wands energy? The full. Something else in reverse. And they struggling. For some of you, your person went into a situation only to struggle. Let's say y'all were struggling. They struggling a hundred times worse. Your person exhausted from the situation. They're on edge. This person that they're dealing with could be very, um, could be very, you know, um, uh, this exhausted energy. It just makes your person exhausted. You know, they, they want to fight and argue all the time. For some of you, the person could be struggling with this individual. There's just no motivation here. Anything else with this Queen of Wands energy? Yeah, some of you, they're living with this person. This is where your person could have started something here new with. But that did not stop them from being a player. And now they're just sitting in this energy just waiting. Tell me about this Ten of Cups for this Queen of Wands. Nothing was moving. Nothing here is going anywhere. Nothing. Tell me about this Ten of Cups for this Queen of Wands. Yeah. Now your person's like, okay, I think I want a second chance. I think I don't want this anymore. I'd rather just be single and work on me because there's too many fights. Too much is going on over there. 
Your person's ready for something new, a new phase. Even if this person does offer them everything, which I don't see. I mean, they could be, but whatever it is, something here is not being worked out. Yeah, your person wants someone to love, someone to hold. They don't feel that they can love this person. Now, what's this Empress energy? Yeah, some of you, they're ready to come in here and take care of you. Ready to be the man or the woman for you. Ready to be the provider. Okay, the Empress. Yeah, look, Ten of Swords. So right now, this is, losing you is very, is very painful. Yeah, because some of you walked away or they walked away. This was very painful losing you. Don't think this person is not hurting. They are. We saw that very clearly. This reminds me of the ten, ten of Swords. This person is hurting. They are hurting, Collective. You hear me? This person is hurting because they, they chose something else over you. Why is this person in this Ten of Swords energy for the, um, for the Collective? Yes, because they know that y'all were soulmates. Y'all could have had something here. You were the real partner. You there was they had a lot of passion for you. For some of you, you had values and you say and you stay to yourself. Some of you were very they, they had a choice to make. And now they want to fight for this connection. Like they know they have to be the one to fight for you. They have to fight for your love. Yeah, you gave them someone to love. You gave them someone to trust. You gave them someone to hold. You were that person. You showed them true love. You did things for this person they own people wouldn't do for them. Tell us about this lovers with this Empress energy. Look, Eight of Cups in reverse. Now they don't want you to walk away. They want to try again with you after juggling you. But they want to come here with the truth and say, look, baby, I want to make this right. I'm ready to come home. I'm ready to make this right. But they do got to fear that they've lost you, though. Because they could have made the wrong choice. But like I said earlier, they could be avoiding this connection here with you because they know that they messed up. Why does this person want to walk away from this empress with eight of cups in reverse? I'm telling y'all, because it's like y'all worth fighting for. They do. But they have to be able to close off some things with the, with the world card. They got to they gotta cut some stuff off. You were wish you were fulfillment for this person. Some of you, you could have made this person feel whole want to accomplish things you gave them a different outlook on life like i said you gave them someone to hold someone to trust someone to love you were the whole damn package one more eight of cups universe why does this person want to walk away from the collector with this empress energy because they're ready to take action towards who they were they see the bigger picture now they're ready to overcome any challenges that y'all two have had you're like it i can fix it you know what that you know what that reminds me of um off that movie um for me to say that what's that movie holes and 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 i can't remember exactly what it was but you know when the 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 they kept going back and back and forth from in time into now but you remember when the black guy was like um i think she said my roof needs fixing i can fix it this needs done i can fix it my heart is broken i can fix it. that's what this person is they're like I, I whatever damage i did i can fix it you need this i can do it like now this person want to show up like i said they want to be a leader Look, what I just say? Anything you want from me. Because their heart belongs to you. My heart belongs to you. He said, anything you want from me, I got it. Ain't that crazy? Thank you, spirit. Like I said, this person wants He said, my heart belongs to me. He said, you can have all my love. He said, you're the girl in my life. <laughs> and that's why this person is so focused on their money right now. He said, yes, you're my desire. He said, I want to give you so much. And I'm telling you, this white person focus on their money. They want to be ready. I'm telling you. He said, I want to give you so much for the things that you've given me. So this person knows how loyal you were. He said, just take my hand because you are so dear to me. I'm telling y'all, this person wants to be a leader for you now. Like their career focus or some of you, you will have to, if y'all do take this person back, y'all got to get ready because they're about to be working hard. Because their heart belongs to you. They're not letting you slip away. Nope. There may be distance and y'all may be talking. They may seem like they're just moving on out you. I'm telling y'all, this person, this person is in major regret. They are in major fucking regret. Excuse my language, but that's how they're feeling. They're in major regret. They feel like they have were are a failure. They feel like they failed you. They're disappointed in themselves. Look, they they got a desire for you. And they're coming here towards you. Look, and there, and then here's the emperor, emperor right here. This person ready to marry you. Settle down. 
He said, once in a lifetime, you'll find someone like you. So yeah, like I said, you don't, you don't find too many like you. I feel like all the signs are here some way, somehow. So just take it where it goes. So yeah, this person ready to give you so much. He said, I'm ready to give you my all. Over and over and over. Yeah, but I'm telling you, this person going through some karma. They're going through some drama. They're going through some endings. They're taking some losses. Okay, that's a that tower was the first card that came out. And I'm telling y'all, whoever they're dealing with, they can be bumping a lot of heads, like bumping heads with everybody. Just know their heart belongs to you and they're ready to give you every and anything. Whatever you need, they're ready to fix it. Whatever you need them to do, they're going to do it. You'll be shocked. You're like, damn. Like, babe, can you go buy a store and pick up some medicine? Or, I don't know, I said medicine. Maybe, you know, or can you go buy the store and get, you know, I, I, I need some more bread or I need some more butter. Yeah, I got it, babe. And they ain't going to get next thing they get here, coming in the driveway. You're like, what? <laughs> that's what this person about to do. They're not going to give up on you. person could become being, being more romantic, bringing you flowers and planning date nights and just, just showing up for you totally different. Showing up for you better. Being a better man. Being a better woman. Because only once in a lifetime. Nobody like you comes around. Not twice for this person. They know I got to get the good when it gets good. Because I ain't going to have this again. So let's see what we got here, Spirit. What else can you give the collective on that person at this time? What else does the collective need to currently know about, ooh, about that person right now? So your heart belongs to this person and they, they feel a little bit lost. They feel regretful. They know they failed you. I told y'all a love message. They come here with a love message. Because they're not happy being without you, whoever this is. This person could have been very hot and cold. Spirit, what does the collective need to know about this individual? What else can let the collective know? I'm telling y'all. Y'all might not believe me. It might not feel like this person, but I'm telling y'all, their current energy is they're just hurting right now. For some of you, they're feeling sorry for themselves. For some of you, they're playing the victim because they caught what they lost. Some of you, they don't want to address it because they know they fucked up. Like, let's be for real. Think about it. Somebody did you wrong. They're embarrassed. They're ashamed. They don't want, they don't want their face to be shown right now. This person is hurting. They they know you're the one for them. But this I'm telling y'all, this person is ashamed because they lied. They sold you a dream. They tricked you. They say they're a phony. I'm telling y'all, this person was lying about where they were going, what they were doing, who they were with. Look, I really want to sex your body by link. But this person is ashamed for not being honest with you. That guilt is in them. You know, you know when somebody's guilty, they not gonna they're not gonna be real with you or they're not gonna come forward yet. This person is embarrassed by their actions. Talking about this person. That's on my collect this mind. I'm telling y'all, for some of y'all, they dealing with a crazy ass ex. Y'all keep getting this message. I know y'all tired of hearing this, but if it comes out, what can I do? Okay. Some of you, that was the issue. They were lying about what they were doing, where they're at, and their whole time they're with somebody here who was possibly keeping them stuck. But there is a they're going through it with somebody. What y'all seen there earlier? That Queen of Wands energy. This person is crazy. They won't let your person go. Okay. Wow. Clarify this psycho crazy ex that's obsessed with the collective's person and they won't let go. Because they could be in a relationship with this person or this person just has, you know, just won't let go. Yeah, for some of you, your person is hurting because they're seeing this person's true colors. What is this psycho ex true colors? What's going on in the other connection? I'm telling y'all, whatever your person is dealing with with this person that they're currently dealing with, just know that they are fucked up over you. Okay, your person seeing this person's true colors. They are not happy right now. They cannot keep you off their mind. I'm telling y'all, somebody here is thinking about the memory of you. They feel like they have lost you. They could be mourning of you. The truth then came out. They're like they're going through an awakening. Every time they think more about you or what they should have did or how they should have did things, it's like their that the light bulb just comes on more and more. At first, at first it was off. Then it started coming up. Then it started flickering a little bit here and there. Why is the clutch person fucked up over the collective? What is this? Because for some of you, they didn't got some spiritual gifts. The universe has been talking. They've been praying to God about you. Okay? What spiritual gifts were fucked up over you? 
Yeah, for some of you, that they feel bad because they lied to you. Some of you, they left you hanging. They didn't leave you with no closure. Somebody here was just so ready to go be with somebody else that now they're stuck in their, in their head. Now they suck with somebody they don't, even, they don't want to be with. They're embarrassed. They know they're in the wrong. But the thing about it is when this person didn't leave you with no closure or wouldn't talk to you, they didn't want, weren't communicating back with you, they left you on red or they blocked you, whatever the case may have been, just know that they're hurting because they know now that because of the actions that they made, it was a consequence to your actions. So yeah, they, they could have left you high and dry. They could have, you know, left you left you for dead for some of you, you know. They could have not done anything on their end. But guess what? Now they have to see you move on and let them go and love yourself. Okay? Clarify left you hanging. No closure. No contact. Left on red. I'm look. I don't need to say no more. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's, I'm telling y'all, they're with somebody that they do not want to be with. This person's true colors is coming out. For some of your person, this true colors is coming out. But this person, your person will not let, like, there could be a situation your person's in and, that, and this person, they, they chose of you because they thought they were going to have a better life or they thought that this person's going to be whatever. Not only is your person seeing this person they're with who's obsessed, the psycho person who is obsessed with your person, not only will they not let your person go, but their, their true colors are coming out. And this, this psycho is also seeing your person's true colors. And they're like, so what's going on with you? Maybe your person's not saying it. But this person know, this person know good and well that your person's fucked up over you. It literally comes on top of that Queen of Wands card. Like they didn't even, this person could even have some spiritual, spiritual guidance or whatever. And then got the fact that, damn. So that's why he's acting like this today. That's why she's calling off for work. That's why he's wanting to stay out late. That's why he's saying he needs time. That's why she's being distant. That's why she's not sleeping on the, she's sleeping on the couch now. This person, this psycho shoe coach is coming up, but as well as your person's shoe colors. And I'm telling you because... Let's just get back to your person. We're not going to make it too much about this per other person. The fact of the matter is that your person's fucked up over you for leaving you on red and going against their intuition. When the spiritual gifts, when they ask God, is God, is a collective for me? God was like, hell yeah. Like He didn't say hell yeah, but <laughs> God was like, yes, this person is for you. They're genuine. They're going to love you. They may be difficult to deal with at times, but this person is for you. Okay? This is once in a lifetime. Well, they went against that. They left you hanging of all people with no closure, nothing. And that's why this person is possibly taking it more harder than you. They're worried. Look, can I make this up? My... Let me tell you, this song is Cisco Incomplete, right? And the lyrics is popping out with me. He's saying, I can make believe that I have everything. No, oh, y'all think I'm playing with y'all or something. He said, I got a bank account bigger than the law should allow. So some of you, yeah, maybe your person did run into some money and, and you know, whatever the case may be. But that ain't nothing that compares to you. Let me, let me pull up these lyrics because I keep hearing this certain part of the song. He said, I'm just a grown man that is running out of time. He said, even though it seems that I have everything. I don't want to be a lonely fool. For some of you, they, the person that want to be lonely. Shit was going bad with y'all. They didn't know what was coming next with you. So they, they could have went and, and been with this other person. But he says, all the women, all the expensive cars, all the money does not amount to you. So I can make believe like I have everything. But I can't pretend that I don't see. Without you, girl, my life is incomplete. So even though it may seem like they got everything and you're like, this person don't care about me anymore. That's not true. That's make believe. Especially if y'all are on this person's account. That's make-believe. This person is losing sleep behind you. They're replaying thoughts. That were, somebody here was wanting to do it their way. That's what the issue was. They wanted to do it their way. They thought you was going to keep sticking around. You didn't. Okay? What else the collective need to know about their person spirit? What else? But some of you person could be getting into some issues. So we got police station. Okay? So they could be, maybe they got a warrant. Because like this person, this cop is looking around. So some of you person got a warrant. You're going to get picked up. <clears throat> some of you person could be, you know, doing things they ain't got a business. So what's this police station for to collect this person? We got blocked. 
I don't know what that means. Some of you, they are going to go to jail and you're going to get like a random call that a call coming through and you're going to start getting random numbers like, hey, such such want to get in touch with you. So such such trying to call you. You're like, oh goodness, I'm telling y'all. So Spirit said, yep, that's the truth. <laughs> that's the truth. And this is when this person is going to start feeling everything. When they when they literally have to sit and be alone. It's crazy because this Four of Swords card came out. This kind of like the jail cell too. See the bars? And you know, they only got, I ain't never been to jail, but you know how, you know, you know how this been on a, a bed that's very uncomfortable. That's what some of y'all person going to have to do. Y'all can get a block call from your person talking about they wouldn't went to jail. This person said, I would do anything to hear you say. And for some of you, you're not going to be wanting to hear them. Some of you, they y'all going to be bumping heads because you're like, I don't, I do not care that you were in jail. Like you left me hanging. You left me with no closure. You think that I'm about to take care of you now? Yeah, I'm stepping into who I am, and they're going to be feeling like shit. Baby, please give me a hear, but guess what? Spirit said, y'all need to let them go through this, because that's their karma. That is their drama. That's their losses that they took. Now this person feeling incomplete. Anything else the collective needs to know? What else does my collective need to know about that person? Yeah, they want to know where you at, what you're doing. Okay, because some of you done definitely closed this cycle, but your person still got a lot of feelings for you. He said, it makes me want to cry. But some of you, that's why they're losing sleep also, because they locked up or they're about to get locked up. Yeah, this is their karmic lesson. So don't go and rescue this person. They need to go sit through that. I know y'all may love them and I may care, but you're going to be <clears throat> you're gonna be granted or hurting even worse. Be happy, single, stress-free, do you, date. Set goals for yourself. Stay career focused. Spend time with your family and friends. Those who make you feel happy. Because this person, they got to go through this shit. And if you find yourself trying to be Captain Saver, you're going to be going through some mess too. Yeah. Spirit said this person backstabbed you. They lied to you. They played mind games with you. Do you not think they may not do it again? Yeah, they're going to be hurting. They're not happy where they're about to be at. Yeah, they're going to feel like they're trapped. And they're going to be in a lot of regret. Their heart is going to be broken. Yeah, because they're going to be missing you. They're going to be seeing you moving on. So they could have lied. They could have cheated. They could have did everything. And guess what? They sent somewhere. Going to be missing you. Wishing they what, wishing what they could have done. What they should have done better by you. Look, next, wifey. They feel like you wifey material. Anything else? I cannot make this shit up. They feel like shit. Overall, why does this person feel like shit? Because they still got feelings for you. I'm telling you. She said you he said you stood right by me. So you're my wifey. You did stuff that that for this person that was like wifey material. You know, they're like, damn. Some of you you taste the best to this person. Okay, but they feeling like shit. Whoever this is is definitely feeling like shit because they still got feelings for you. They think about y'all all the time. All right, and so what we got going on? What is the cut that we need to know about that person at this time sphere? Give them more clarity. Give the collective more clarity when it comes to this person. Okay, two done popped out. Oh, where did they go? Okay, I think it's this one. The karmic has been stalking you, for, stalking you from fake accounts. So some of you, there's a karmic who's watching y'all, but spirit says. But nobody trusts what this person is. For some of you, you are the main topic that this person talks about every day. They watch your page. They'll be sending stuff to the group chat. Doing the most. And it's all because your person's... But anyways, this, this person cannot be trusted. And they stalking you from fake accounts. It's karmic. is because they know your person wants you so badly. Look, every hour, I'm stalking your pages. Some of you that didn't call this person stalking your page. Some of you that karmic didn't call your person stalking you. Because they know this karmic knows that your person about to officially let them go. And they're about to prove to you that they really love you. Some of you, this karmic gonna try to reach out to y'all. <laughs> and they're gonna try to argue and fight with you. All because your person wants to be with you. Yeah. Your person done flipped it and walked out of heaven. They flipped it and damn near threw their life away. What else for my collective? Can't afford your lifestyle. So some of you, you're moving on up to the east side, is what I'm hearing. Okay. Look, she said, you, you, I finally got a piece of the pie. So some of you about to hit some uh, hit the jackpot. You're about to get some money or something. And this person can't even afford, afford you. They can't even 
help with nothing that you got going on. Look what we got. Yeah, on and off, hot and cold. So this person was that way. We also got, I don't know what's next for me. So some of you, that's why they were so hot and cold because they didn't know what they wanted. They had a choice to make. They could have stayed to work this out, but they wanted to be more difficult. Okay, they thought maybe they're going to get better and didn't get nothing. They didn't get shit. They're not getting shit. Somebody here could have lied. We got knowing they will never be able to fix this. We got hot girl, hot boy. So some of you could step into your hot girl, hot boy era. Okay, not saying you ain't never been one. You ain't always been one. But, you know, healing, still healing from karmic cycle. So, yeah, that's what I'm telling y'all. Don't try, even, even though you want to take care of this person or you want to love on them, show them like, I got your back. Sometimes always showing somebody that you're their ride or die is only going to make you get ran over. Okay, listen, 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 Linda. Trying to find, and I'm not saying you can't, you don't have, I'm not saying for those of you who want to talk to this person, it's okay to talk to this person. But when it comes to like, look, because for some of you, they get lonely. And we saw that earlier. They get lonely, so they ran to somebody else. Maybe you weren't giving to them. Or maybe you weren't showing them no the interest. But y'all see what they did. Instead of just working it out and trying to find fixes, they, they ran to somebody else who they thought was better. Yeah, but now they're trying to find the right words to say to you. Been that and always will be. So it'll always be something. This person will always feel. Even if y'all both go off, get married, other people have children, whatever. They're going to always feel something about you. Anything else the collective needs to know about this individual? Never judge a book by its cover. So that, yeah, for some of you, they're learning a valuable lesson. Never take, never bite the hand that feeds you. Don't go against the grain, you know. Don't, don't forget where you came from. Don't do people like that, you know, especially you. But y'all about to have a new fresh start, okay? Or this person want to have a new fresh start with you. We got Gemini energy. It says I have to find what life is like. What, have to find what life is like without you. So they see what life is like without you. The karmic is leaving your person because your person doesn't want them. And then you got they wish they would have told you the truth. And it, for some of you, the, it all comes down to that they lied about another situation they were in, crying over you. Because somebody here was like, "What's wrong with you? Like I'm doing everything for you. What is it?" And they're like, "Well, go back to that bitch then. Go back to her if you're. Go back to him since you doing all this acting weird." And they're like, "Okay, well, will you leave me alone?" <laughs> yeah because it comes down to the fact that you are you're the ultimate prize and you are irresistible and they're like looking back like damn what happened to forever i can't just let her or him go like that this is about to see you with your new boost so some of you they're gonna be trying they're gonna see you with somebody else and for some of you they're gonna go to jail maybe they're gonna see you with somebody new something here is gonna happen to where they feel like oh shit wait 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 i gotta get my baby back i cannot i can't do this reconciliations for some of you this will be in the next few days we got i can't move forward without you mm. hate themselves right now so some of you persons definitely like mad at themselves i told you they're very ashamed they're feeling very guilty it says you're bossing up your life yeah and you right you, you're going right past this person that's why they say you never do people like that you choosing somebody else over them that's you know you think you're gonna find better elsewhere and the whole time you, you just need to hold on a little bit longer I don't feel like y'all situation was that bad. So this person had to go do you like that. I don't. But trade you for a whole loser. Mm. Some of you are going to be getting a no color ID from this person in the next couple days. Okay. Because y'all could got them blocked. Or they or they can't really call you from their number because they're dealing with somebody still. But there have been some gossip about you. and But they can't let you go. So even though people who talk shit about you, maybe you're being brought up. This person cannot find themselves just letting you walk out of their life like that. Okay. I do hope that y'all enjoyed this reading. Okay, um, and yeah, this is what's going on. This is the current energy that that spirit is picking up for y'all. But y'all will be getting some type of sincere apology from this person, you know, after some time. For some of you, like I said, it's the next couple of days, a no caller ID, and it's going to be your person. You're probably going to wake up to no caller IDs or text now numbers, blowing up your phone trying to talk to you. Because something here done happened in your person's life to make them say, oh, shit. I got to I got to get it. I got to get my shit together. I can't I can't go on like this. Okay? So I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Make sure y'all like, comment and subscribe. And I will talk to y'all later. Peace.